Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Friday, July 9th. The government's top man in the Gulf of Mexico disaster says BP may be within four days of controlling the flow of leaking oil. National Incident Commander Thad Allen says a tight seven-day window of good weather in the Gulf led to this accelerated timetable. That leak is now in its 82nd day. President Obama urged Congress today to expand the nation's clean energy credit program. He told an audience in Nevada that a $5 billion increase in clean energy manufacturing tax credits could generate almost 40,000 jobs. The comments came as part of a campaign appearance on behalf of Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid of Nevada. Well, now it's official. The United States and Russia completed the largest spy swap since the Cold War. Ten alleged Russian spies were traded for four being held in Russia. The exchange avoids having spy trials in the U.S. that could have publicly aired embarrassing and possibly dangerous details of Russia's operations. The actual swap of spies took place at the airport in Vienna, Austria. At least on paper, China and Google are back on friendly terms, or at least on business terms. China today renewed Google's license to operate its internet search engine website within its borders. Google officials say they were pleased with the move. The company had stopped censoring search results and was threatening to move many of its operations out of China, which is a huge online market. That's your political roundup for Friday, July 9th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.